Hi everyone, I bet you know what this video is gonna be about. You guessed it, the dreaded tomato hornworm. They have voracious appetites and can consume your tomato plants overnight. Today I'm gonna to give you your battle plan for defeating the dreaded tomato hornworm. Here I've got two tomato plants that unfortunately have been attacked by the dreaded tomato hornworm. The tricky thing about the hornworm is they're big and fat and green and they're really good at camouflaging themselves and blending in with the foliage. They're very hard to spot until the damage is done. So let's see how good you are at spotting the hornworms on this plant. How'd you do? Did you see it? There he is, easy to miss, blends in, very hard to see. He's getting fat on my tomato leaves. Did you see the second one? Keep looking, he's in there doing the same thing, chowing down, really enjoying the plants. There he is, the culprit. They're very, very tricky to spot. They blend right into your plants. However, there are two clues that you can look for that will help you identify when they're on your plants. Clue number one is the leaves. When you see stripped leaves on your tomato branches, that's a clue that they're somewhere on your plants. And often this can happen very quickly, like overnight. Clue number two is their droppings. Because they're eating away at your plants, getting bigger and fatter by the moment, their droppings are large. You're gonna see black pelleted droppings on your plant, even around your plant, letting you know that they're somewhere in the vicinity and now it's your job to start looking for them. There's actually two species of hornworms. The tomato hornworm has white stripes with red margins around the stripes and a blue horn. And the tobacco hornworm, which I have here, has white stripes with black margins around the stripes and a red horn. But they're both just as equally destructive to your tomato plants, also to your eggplant, peppers, potatoes, and other vegetables in the nightshade family. Now that we've identified them and found the hornworms on our plant, we have two options as far as a battle plan goes. Option number one, handpick them. Option number two, eliminate them. Now option number one on hand picking, some people don't like to kill them because they turn into the sphinx moth butterfly. So an option that you have if you're in this camp is to hand pick them off your plants and dispose of them or relocate them. So I don't like to use my hands with the hornworms. I'm going to use these handy little tongs that one of our viewers, Jan in Hawaii, actually sent us for dealing with pests. I'm going to pull the hornworm right off my tomato plant here. You can see they have a really good grip on the leaves. So sometimes it takes a really good pull. Just grab it on for dear life. I'm gonna put them in this jar. And you can reloc relocate them to not another area in your garden, I wouldn't recommend that, but somewhere off property or throw them in the green bin. Option number two is to eliminate the hornworms completely. Now I fall in this camp because I don't want to take the chance of the hornworms completely eating my tomato crop. So we're working with Bonide for this video and I like to use Captain Jack's Dead Bug Brew. It's for organic gardening and it contains something called spinosad, which works really well, especially for the caterpillars. It's a targeted pest control product. And what you do with this is you spray the hornworm directly I'm gonna spray the top of the leaves. Also spray the bottom of the leaves in case there's any eggs on here. And I do like to go ahead and spray my entire plant because Captain Jack's Dead Bug Brew will also work really well against spider mites and other chewing and sucking insects. And I definitely have some here on this plant. And what I like about this is it is a targeted pest control product. So it only eliminates the bad insects. You may observe the tomato hornworm still wriggling around a few hours after spraying, but it will cease active feeding up for a few hours before it bites the dust. And this option is a really great part of your battle plan, especially when you have a large infestation. You definitely want to keep an eye on your plants and check them once a week, and you may need to respray if needed. 
A link for Captain Jack's Dead Bug Brew will be in the video description. Comment below and let me know if you've seen the dreaded tomato hornworm in your garden this summer. Head over to CaliKimGardenAndHome.com to get 25% off with the code CaliKim25 off seed collections, garden kits, and books. And don't forget to grab your September Fun Fall Greens subscription box. Get $9 off with the code FUNFALLGREENS. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.